Hello students, welcome to this video. In the last videos, we had discussed about how to define a set, elements of a set, some properties of set and most importantly, the representation of sets. Today, in this video, we will discuss on a few things that is cardinal number, infinite set, finite set and empty set. So our first topic is cardinal number. The number of elements in a set is called cardinal number. So let us go for an example. The set of vowels in English alphabet. So here we can call the set as A and A is equal to A E I O U. Now if we count the number of elements, so there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements. So the cardinality of A, that is the cardinal number of A is 5. And we express this cardinal number in this form, N of A. Let us take another set. The set of letters in the word cardinal. So let us call the set as B and the letters are C, A, R, D, I, N. Now A is already here, so that is why we will not repeat A and at last it is L. Now let us count how many elements are here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, N of B is equal to 7. Now, let us talk about types of sets. There are different types of sets such as finite set, infinite set, empty set, disjoint sets, joint sets, equal sets, equivalent sets. In this video, we shall talk about the finite sets infinite sets and empty sets. So at first finite set. A set is said to be finite if it has a limited or countable number of elements in it. So let's go for an example. A set of natural number between 10 to 15. Let us call this set as A. So A will be 11, 12, 13, 14 because between 10 to 15 there are 4 natural numbers so therefore we can count it and it is finite. Now let's take another example that b is equal to x such that x belongs to w and x is less than or equal to 10. So definitely b will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 because it was less than or equal to so that is why 10 has been considered and because the whole number starts from 0 so we have counted from 0 and ended at 10. So we cannot go if, uh, further that. So we can count that there are 11 elements and most importantly here is an end. So we can end somewhere. So that is why it is countable. So this is a finite set. So let's go for infinite set. A set is said to be infinite if it has unlimited or uncountable number of elements in it. So let's go for an example. Suppose P is a set of prime numbers. So this will be the form of P that is 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on. So we cannot end by counting. So it is uncountable. So therefore it is infinite. It has actually no end. Let's go for another example that is Q. Q equal to X such that X belongs to W and X is greater than 20. So we can write Q in this form 20, 21, 22, 23 and so on and we cannot end by counting. So it is infinite set. Now let's talk about empty set. The set with no element in it is called the empty set or the null set. Now this set is denoted as this empty curly bracket or this phi. So let's go for an example. A is the set of students in your class with height more than 10 feet. So definitely there is no one in your class whose height is more than 10 feet. So therefore we will denote A as phi because A is an empty set. So let us take another example. B is the set of rectangles with 5 sides. So you can never find a rectangle with 5 sides. So therefore there is no element in B and so B is empty set and it is denoted as phi. So students, I want to mention one thing here that the cardinal number of an empty set is zero because there is no element. So the total number of element is zero. So the cardinality of the empty set is zero. 
So students, what we have learned today? We have learned cardinal number, infinite set, finite set and empty set. I hope you have understood. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video.